probably regardless of what you believe in or who you want to vote for or not, it's just kind of a weird time to be here because it just feels um, like wholesale conflicting. You gotta go before he rams you. So, fast fact, initially, when they asked Guts and Borglund to come carve a mountain, they asked them to carve this thing, the needles, instead of Mount Rushmore. But apparently he said it wasn't good enough rock. That it would like crumble or something, so. probably didn't expect that there were multiple mountain carvings, but that's kind of like the origin story of this thing. The original plan for Mount Rushmore was actually to carve like Western figures like Buffalo Bill or Kit Carson or literally Crazy Horse, the Lakota warrior into the mountain. And the sculptor Guts and Borglum decided to do just all presidents. So what happened is that the leaders of the Lakota tribe in the area decided that they wanted to have something on their land, the Black Hills of South Dakota, that wasn't just white people. Uh, so they commissioned a sculptor to come and do this, and he started about the same time that Mount Rushmore was finishing, and they've been going ever since, and they're like not very close yet, but... This isn't a national park and it's not a national monument. It's not a state anything. It's actually private land and it's been privately funded since the very beginning. It's like absolutely gargantuan. Yeah. Yeah, actually that, <laughs> that overlay they did of like, here's Mount Rushmore. Yeah, Mount it Rushmore can like fit head. on the side of Crazy Horse's face. Crazy Horse Memorial is proud to present this special program which promotes understanding and harmony among all people. Tonight's show is made possible through the generosity of U.S. Smokeless Tobacco. Hi, good morning from Black Hills National Forest, but you probably don't really care about camping for free in National Forest at this point, and you're probably wondering why we've been taking so dang long to go to Mount Rushmore. Well, don't worry because it's only literally a few miles away from exactly where we camp for free. Okay, so in comparison to Crazy Horse, a few big differences. One, this is actually quite a lot smaller. Yeah. And secondly, Crazy Horse, because it was commissioned by the tribes, it definitely has a different feel on what was originally tribal land being carved into presidents of the United States. Depends how you look at it. But that being said, there is a lot of Trump stuff going on here today. Yeah. It's a 2020-ism. Yeah. There's a lot of no mask going on too, by the way. I think probably regardless of what you believe in or who you want to vote for or not, it's just kind of a weird time to be here because it just feels um, like wholesale conflicting a little bit, you know? Yeah. And probably everybody that sees this is going to disagree with me on that, which is why it's conflicting. <laughs> 
Well, if it's any consolation, one thing that we can all agree about is that National Treasure is here, inside the mountain. So, I don't know why, but like all the national parks we've been to, this is the most obnoxious place. Like, most of the other places, people were pretty good about wearing masks, the staff, and all the other national parks were wearing masks, and not a single staff member here. But this is, the, I was just gonna say, this is the one that makes me feel like, if I ever got COVID, I would trace it back to here. Oh yeah, this is like Florida's estate, this is this memorial. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised and honestly like upset that literally the only accommodation for keeping people safe is that they've closed half of the parking ticket booths. Huh. America. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> like for a place that gets this heavily trafficked, they didn't even convert their audio tours to cell phones and like Minuteman missiles did that. Like, yeah. you know, no one's ever even heard of Minuteman missiles. tourism there's one more spot that we haven't hit yet and we're almost right on time for when we don't really want to be there no. if you've ever heard of Sturgis we're about a week and a half early oh and by the way in 2020 they had a vote and they're keeping it okay so the Sturgis rally has been happening since like 1938 and only got canceled for World War II, and they didn't cancel it this year either. So there's probably 500 to 700,000 people coming in here. Does it feel weird to be in a bar? Alan! Alan! Steve! 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 Well, let me say, this is the first rest stop national park I've ever seen. Because I haven't even seen any bison except from the interstate. Yeah. 